Sounds yeah. Like it's a pretty weird coalition if you think about it. Well, I mean, people are free to listen to our podcast because <laughs> we discuss this every day. No, but kidding aside, um, so the thing is, for for a time, Sara Duterte, the daughter of the former president, tried to have her own version of multi-alignment, <laughs> which is have the cake and eat it too. Be part of the Marcos administration, but I'm still the daughter of my father, the sister of my brother, and everyone is bashing the president. But I think things are going to get more and more tricky uh, as we move forward because as the tensions get more fierce, essentially there's a loyalty call nowadays. So one of the biggest stories in the Philippines right now is Sara Duterte, the vice president who has everything to say about the Gaza conflict, Afghan refugees, name you, has zero comment on the South China Sea disputes. Mm -hmm. And the only time that we saw her making any statement vis-a-vis -vis China was when she greeted China on the anniversary of the PLA in some sort of, I don't know, half-massacred Mandarin or something like that, right? I mean, you can ask my Mandarin-speaking friends how good her Chinese was. So, actually, the meme nowadays is, what is Sarah Duterte's comment? And then they get clip of her Mandarin statement. So... I think it's becoming more and more difficult for Sara Duterte yeah. to, to be that kind of a multi-aligned figure. And I think she's being more pulled and pulled to the side of her father. And as, as I understand, the father is seeking to visit China again as a kind of a special friend of China. In fact, last year he went to China back to back with Henry Kissinger, right? And now this month he's hoping to go back to China. And they're just, you know, unabashed about it. Their idea is U.S. is the yeah. empire. And interestingly, a lot of leftist nationalist groups are kind of on the same side as the Duterte's, when in fact they were kind of enemies. Yeah. So suddenly you have all of these um, strange bedfellows and realignments happening in the Philippines right now, but the center of gravity is clear. 80 to 90% of Filipinos are critical of China and want us to have a stronger ties with the United States and Japan.